The Pilbara is known for its iron ore exports, but instead of shipping the red dirt offshore, the region could be home to green steel production. Australian technology company Calix received a grant worth almost $1 million this week from the federal government's Australian Renewable Energy Agency, ARENA. The funding will be put towards the design of a green steel demonstration plant using its zero emissions steel technology called Zesty. Calic CEO Phil Hodgson hopes the technology will go some way to decarbonising the entire iron ore industry. If you look at iron and steel, it's responsible for about 7% of global CO2 emissions. That's nearly 1.5 billion tonnes a year, so a huge problem. And that's globally. And then if you have a look at Australia, nearly 44% of our income, our export income, comes from the export of iron ore. And so if the whole industry is looking to decarbonise, Australia should be playing a major part in that, given the importance of that export industry to Australia and obviously the importance to, to the world with respect to CO2 reduction. And it's mainly the steel production in the whole supply chain from mine to steel. It's the, the production of steel that, that brings about most emissions, isn't it? So can you talk through your technology and how it will work to reduce emissions for that section of the supply chain? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so a lot of people uh, may not realise that, that iron ore is, is basically rust. <laughs> it's iron oxide. And to turn that into steel, you've basically got to rip that oxygen off the iron. What happens in steel making is you use carbon, you use coal, and that coal loves oxygen. Uh, but when that coal drags the oxygen off the iron, oxide it forms carbon dioxide and and that's why there's sort of 1.8 tons of co2 emitted per ton of steel made but there's another compound or element that loves oxygen and that's hydrogen and so if you can use hydrogen to rip the oxygen off the uh, iron ore to make iron that just produces steam as a byproduct by you doing that and by doing that here in australia if you can make a green iron here instead of just exporting iron ore, you can obviously start to decarbonise the whole of the global industry by making a green iron here, capturing more value here because you're doing more here uh, in Australia and obviously helping the global industry decarbonise. So that's the opportunity for us. The, the funding you have been given is for a, a demonstration facility is that right so not a full-scale yeah. plant that's going to be producing you know or, or managing the tons of iron ore that we see out of Australia but do you see yourself getting to Calix getting to a position where you're able to take in a, a fair proportion of the tonnages that leave out of the Pilbara in particular um, and, and go to China? Yeah, look, uh, just just to hark back on the um, the speed at which this is all happening, uh, we've got a little electric calciner that, that's renewably powered in Bacchus Marsh in Victoria, and that's where we've done all our initial testing. That's about 2,000 tonnes per year sort of throughput. So that's only tiny, really, compared to, you know, the, the scale of the problem. This commercial demonstration that we're going to be doing with uh, ARENA, that's looking at 30,000 tonnes per year. So 30,000 tonnes a year is, is basically, if you recall, a saving of about 1.8 tonnes of carbon per tonne of CO2. So we're starting to get up there in terms of carbon savings. But ultimately, uh, we need to get to millions of tonnes a year. To get to millions of tonnes a year will take some time, but we certainly want to have our first demonstrator at 30,000 tonnes up and running sometime in 2024. That's our target. Yeah, for context, I think um, Port Hedland exports about 55 million tonnes per month of iron ore. So it yes. is an incredible scale, which I'm sure, you know, it may be difficult to ever get to a point where an Australian steel industry would offset what we do ship out to China. But are you hoping to bring in the iron ore from WA? Where, where are you expecting to get the, say, 30,000 tonnes per year from? Yeah, look, we, we are certainly looking at the Pilbara region. Um, there are multiple projects there for hydrogen and renewable energy that would suit our technology perfectly. And so 30,000 tonnes a year is a drop in the ocean, as you mentioned, compared to the total exports out of there. But what's really interesting is out of all the iron ore that's mined 
out of the Pilbara, there are still millions of tonnes of very tiny particles of iron ore, iron ore dust, if you like, that is currently not exported. It's currently sort of waste. And that's actually what we're targeting first to use with our technology. Our, our kiln handles little tiny particles really well. And so really what we're trying to do is have a technology that can move in convert a waste to a green iron uh, and then of course as the uh, global industry decarbonizes then you can start to convert some of the the larger particles that is ceo of calix phil hodgson